Hi, this is Mike Simpson. Welcome to our course introduction on Objective-C programming. This is a course where you learn about the foundations of Objective-C as a programming language. And this is a course where you'll learn about the Xcode development environment and you'll learn about the Cocoa programming framework. This is a course where you're going to learn how to use Cocoa to create applications in the same way that Mac OS X itself is created. Now, you've seen how great Mac OS X is, and I'm sure you're going to want to learn how to build applications in the same way that you build Mac OS X. You do that by dealing with the Cocoa framework. And this is a course where you're going to learn how to do that. Now, what kinds of things are you going to learn about in this course? Well, let me talk about the kinds of things you're going to learn about. By the time you finish with this course, you're going to know how to design, how to create, and how to develop Cocoa applications in Objective-C for the Macintosh using the Model View Controller or MVC architecture. You're going to know how to effectively use auto-releasing Macintosh memory. You're going to know how to develop and how to implement Objective-C classes that use both accessors and mutators. You're going to know how to use class categories, you're going to know how to use class introspection, and you're going to know how to use protocols. You're going to know how to use control outlets and you're going to know how to use bindings to reduce the amount of code you write and also make the code that you write a lot faster. And you're going to know how to implement and how to control event responder chains. Now, there are a few things that you should know in order to make sure that you get the most out of this course. You should have one year of ANSI C programming background. And you should have a basic knowledge of how pointers, how functions, and how arrays work in C. Now, let's talk about some of the topics that we're going to be covering in each of the individual modules. First, we're going to show you how to do the initial setup and how to first run your code. We're going to make sure that you have everything set up and downloaded properly. We're going to do a quick refresher on the basics of C as a programming language. Then we're going to review how memory and pointers are handled, both in standard C and in Objective-C. Then we're going to talk about how to get thinking in objects. Because thinking in objects is a little bit different, because C doesn't really have objects, but Objective-C does. Then we're going to go through those basics of Objective-C to make sure that you understand how that works. Then we're going to start delving into the actual framework that are involved in Cocoa and talk about the different classes and libraries that are dealt with in a, the Objective-C world. Then we'll talk about the core foundation value classes that form the bulwark of programming in Cocoa. Then we'll show you how to create and work with basic controls like list boxes and text boxes and scroll boxes and sliders and all those wonderful things that we use to put together a Cocoa interface. Then we'll take you from top to bottom through how you design and create great applications using the Model View Controller Architecture, or MVC. We'll also talk about how we do customized views and how you do customized drawing in Cocoa. And what kind of a curriculum should you go through? What kinds of classes should you be taking? Well, ideally, you will have taken some fundamentals of operating systems, and you will have taken some introduction to programming, and ideally, you'll have gone through both parts one and two of RC programming. Then, after you've done that, you'll be appropriately prepared for taking this Objective-C class. But after you've taken this Objective-C class, you'll be ideally prepared to go right into the next class, which is the iPhone OS programming class. We've got some really nice stuff set up for that in class, particularly focused on the new iPhone OS operating system version 5. So you'll be really set and really ready to go for that class. We, of course, have lab exercises for this class, and those can be downloaded from the download section on the course page. Check out the green links that are labeled downloads to be able to download that type of information. Any questions? Use the question and comment box that's located below. Let's have fun and let's get started.